Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Suburban Sill. So I'm outside on my patio today for this plant diary because I want to talk a little bit about my lovely coral fire aloe. So I picked up this aloe a few years back as a plant rescue, um, and it bounced back really well. It was actually pretty good size when I got it, and it's just been such a lovely plant, super low maintenance, and um, the coral fire, fire aloe is super cool because it gets these beautiful red margins when it's in the sun. Um, the last couple of summers that I've had my aloe, it has flowered. Now, I think you have to have a pretty mature aloe in order to get an, a flower. Um, and I've had this one for about two, three years, three I think, and it was pretty big when I got it. So I would say it's probably, you know, obviously pretty mature. I think the lucky number is seven years or so. Um, but what I've done in the past is once I get that beautiful flower, because it's this really pretty, I don't know, corally pink, I cut it off. But this year I decided to move my aloe outside and see if I can get some seed pods. So after your aloe blooms, um, the flowers that were once there, the ones that get pollinated, then turn into little tiny seed pods that dangle on the end here. Um, and once those pods dry, inside you'll have some beautiful little seeds. So this is my first time. I wasn't quite sure on how the seed pods would go. Um, so one had fallen on the ground that I found and I thought that I would check and see if they were ready. And there were unfortunately no seeds. But if it wasn't a couple days later, I noticed that some began to split open. And so I gathered my pods um, and there were some seeds inside my pods. Not a lot. The seeds are really tiny. Um, and they're covered in like a little white, <clears throat> I'm not sure what the term is. But I was able to get some seed pods, which was super exciting. Now. It looks like I'm actually gonna get another chance to try and harvest some seeds. But if you have an aloe um, and you're noticing it going to flower, why not try to get some seeds and see if you can't start a new aloe from seeds, which is what I'm going to do um, a little bit later here this summer when I have some time. So thank you for joining me for this really quick plant diary about propagating your aloe plants. Um, you know, another way obviously that aloes propagate is by putting off um, little babies, which this aloe has two or three already brewing um, kind of underneath, kind of underneath it. You can see here, I've got some baby aloes in the works. So that's the other more probably typical way that you would propagate your aloe is just by getting those little offshoots. But you know, I like seeds. I like trying to grow things from seeds. So this got me really excited. Um, so check back, make sure and subscribe to my channel because I am going to try to germinate the seeds that I collected. And um, you might want to catch that update. Follow me on Instagram at Suburban Sill. <coughs> oh, the dog. And check out my website at SuburbanSill.com. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.